All right, welcome back everyone. It's Garland here bringing you a new Diablo 4 video. And as the title suggests, we are on the PTR, Public Test Realm, going into Season 6, doing some testing. Uh, as the title says, we're looking at the gem updates. Uh, so gems were updated. We do have a new rank of gems, the Grand Gems, and they are not cheap, folks. They are not cheap. Uh, so if you go to any jeweler, we have Grand Rubies. Uh, you will have to get to level 60. And they cost a lot. Uh, they cost 10 million gold, but more importantly, they cost 100,000 fragments. Uh, now, as it sits on the live servers, um, gem fragments are not that big of a deal. Uh, you're literally spamming uh, infernal hordes for the material chest for the master working materials. Uh, and you're getting just loads of gem materials out of that too. Now, whether that all stays the same going into Season 6... We don't know that for sure. Um, on live right now, Infernal Hordes is the best farming spot for, you know, gear, gem fragments, masterwork materials. It's just the go-to place. It's the farming uh, cesspool right now. Um, I'm, you know, sick of doing Infernal Hordes myself, to be honest. Uh, but going forward into Season 6, I don't know if that's going to be the case. I don't know if, uh, you know, those chests in there are going to get nerfed. Um, but a hundred thousand, uh, gem fragments to make one grand gem. Again, you gotta be level 60, uh, 10 million gold per gem as well. So let's go ahead and look at the updates. Uh, they removed HP. HP is no longer a thing. I disagree with it, but Hey, it is what it is. So we have the grand Ruby. So in the weapon, it stayed the same. It's 90% overpowered damage. Now, now instead of HP, uh, if you put it in your armor, it's 150 strength. Uh, so the jeweler, jewelry, it's 60% fire resistance. So what's the difference here? What's the, the, the upgrade of this? So the Royal Ruby is 10,000, right? 10,000 fragments, and it's only 1 million gold. I don't see the benefit of only a 50 stat increase. A Royal Ruby gives you a hundred strength. So increasing everything 10 times, 10,000 to a hundred thousand, 1 million gold to 10 million gold. That's a 10 times increase for a, I don't want to say minimal game because stats are worth a lot going into season six, but going from 100 strength to only 150 strength. Uh, they should have at least doubled it, in my opinion. Uh, th it should have been 200 of the stat, in my opinion. Uh, either that or they need to lower the cost. I mean, the costs are atrocious. 100,000 fragments for only 50 more statistical gains just doesn't make sense to me. 1 million gold going to 10 million gold per gem. That just doesn't make any sense. Uh, the cost ratio either needs to be lowered... Uh, or the statistics need to increase, in my opinion. So looking at the Amethyst, uh, it's 48% damage over time. Uh, in the Armor, it now gives 12% barrier generation, and then shadow resistance in your jewelry. The Emerald is critical strike damage, 150 dexterity, 60% poison. Uh, the weapon is 60% basic damage, 150 intelligence, 60% lightning resistance. The sapphire is 54 vulnerable damage, 150 willpower, 60% cold resistance. The diamond is going to be 60% ultimate damage, 50 to all stats, 12% uh, resistance to all elements. And then finally, we have the Grand Skull, which is 32 life on kill. I'd actually like to see that to life on hit. Uh, most builds don't care about life on kill. Life on hit is substantially better, especially like when you're using something like uh, Adriana's, uh, or I'm sorry, Andariel's uh, Visage that has life on hit. Right? Anytime you do damage, you're getting 125 life. Remember, health was significantly nerfed going into uh, Season 6. Uh, the days of seeing 100,000 HP, uh, the days of even seeing 20,000 HP, uh, those are over. 
uh, on PTR, the highest I've gotten personally was like a little over 8,000 health. Um, those days of having out outrageous amounts of life, th those are gone. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, the 32 life on kill, I'd like to see get changed to life on hit. Uh, if you put it in your armor, it's 15% healing received. And then in jewelry, it's 240 armor. So those are the changes. Keep in mind that uh, rune words also go in these slots. So if you're using rune words, you're going to lose those gem slots. Uh, I would have liked to seen rune words be a separate thing. I don't know why we have to sacrifice gem slots to use the rune words. But it is what it is. So... Short little video today, guys. That's all I got for you. Those are going to be the updated gem changes uh, going into Season 6. Uh, they are, of course, you know, pending changes. They may or may not stay. They may or not change. It all depends. Uh, again, I'd like to see that cost ratio or the statistical ratio change. Uh, because going from a royal gem to a grand gem just doesn't make sense. The price ratio versus statistical bonus that you're getting uh, needs to be better balanced in my opinion that's all i got for you folks you enjoyed the video go ahead and leave me a comment question concern below i'll see you guys real soon